early morning rescue at Multnomah Falls, but in the process, a member from the search and rescue team had a medical emergency. Alicia Esch was there and digs deeper about how rescuers like these can be more than just challenging for the crews. I am here at Multnomah Falls, where earlier today a hiker reported missing. Robert Gwen was brought down this pathway and out into safety. I was just going for some uh, hikes on the waterfall, and I got a, you know, when uh, when I got lost and night fell and started to get panicky. 52-year-old Florida man Robert Gwynn tells me he's an experienced hiker, but he has never seen or hiked through these falls before. And shortly after nightfall, he got lost. He told me that's when he called police, and even though his cell phone died in the middle of the conversation, crews were able to track him down with its signal. I guess the cell phone technology is a wonderful thing, and... Uh, uh, I guess they wouldn't have found me otherwise. <laughs> Two search and rescue crew members found Robert, but one of them suffered a medical emergency during the rescue. I checked, and although officials tell me this is unusual, they're always prepared for the unusual. In fact, teams are rigorously trained, I found out, to deal with any situation, and in this case, as others, they followed their training by giving on site treatment and then calling for life flight. I did ask, though, if performing these rescues puts rescuers in danger themselves. And officials tell me while anything can be dangerous, it's training that keeps everyone, including Robert Gwen, safe. Very grateful to them. Uh, I was starting to wonder if I was going to die. <laughs> and just one more thing for all of us to keep in mind when we come out to Multnomah Falls or anywhere else for a hike, have a plan. Search and rescue volunteers tell me that's very necessary. Bring along your food and water and, of course, charge your cell phone. Reporting at Multnomah Falls, Alicia Esch, Coin 6 News. And as for that search member who was life lighted, we have learned that he is now in stable condition and his family is now with him.